In this tutorial, we'll see how to configure a security token using the Polymath Token Studio. In order to use the Polymath Token Studio, we'll head over to tokenstudio.polymath.network. And in order to configure a security token and to do anything in the Polymath Token Studio, we will need to have a Web3 wallet like MetaMask. And in order to interact with the Polymath Token Studio, we'll need some Ethereum and we'll need Poly. Here we can see I have 700 ETH, and I also have some poly. Another thing to note is I'm doing this tutorial on the Kovan test network. So you can try out the Polymath Token Studio. You can test it on the Kovan test network. And then when you're ready to create your security token for real, you'll switch your Web3 wallet over to the main Ethereum network. And now let's get started with configuring our security token. First, we'll need to connect MetaMask. We'll sign this transaction here as this MetaMask notification pops up. And now we'll create our account. I'll need to verify my email address, so I'll click send confirmation email, and I'll enter the PIN that's in that activation email. So once I've entered the PIN from that activation email, I've successfully verified and my account is activated. So I'll continue with the first step of configuring our security token, which is registering a token symbol. Here I can reserve any token symbol I want up to 10 characters. However, let's say I try to reserve a token symbol like the corp token. Well, you can see an error message pops up that specified ticker already exists. And so with Polymath, we have a unique naming system where because in the past someone has created the corp token, no one in the future can create the corp token. Therefore, I'll need to come up with a unique token symbol that has not been created previously using Polymath. I'll call this config, since we're learning how to configure a security token. Here you can see that the token symbol will be reserved for 15 days, and this comes at a cost of 2,500 poly. This is on testnet, where there's 15 days for token symbol reservation. On mainnet, it's 60 days, 6-0. Meaning, if we reserve our token symbol, we then have 60 days when we're on mainnet to configure our token. So if we do not configure our token within that 60 day window, the token symbol that we've reserved becomes available for others to take. Just something to keep in mind. I'm ready to reserve my token symbol. So I'll click here. We'll make sure I'm okay paying 2,500 poly. I'll confirm. And two transactions here we need to confirm with MetaMask. So I'll confirm approving the poly spend. And now I'll confirm reserving the token symbol. Great, the transaction was completed, so I've now successfully reserved the token symbol config. So we'll continue. And now you can see we're in the service provider marketplace of the Polymath Token Studio. We have another tutorial specifically for the Polymath service provider marketplace, so we won't spend any time on that in this tutorial, and we will configure our security token now. Final steps to configure our security token, token name, so let's call it configure incorporated. We can make our security token divisible or indivisible. So if we make it divisible, token holders can hold fractions of a token. Whereas if we make it indivisible, token holders can only hold whole numbers. So just by an example, if our security token is divisible, token holders could theoretically have 4.526 tokens. But if it's indivisible, security token holders could only have four or five tokens. They could not hold a fraction of tokens. I'm gonna to make it divisible. We can also add any additional token information. And what we put here will actually be burned into the token. So if someone comes across the config token on a block explorer like Etherscan, for example, they'll be able to see this information we put here. Typically, security token issuers want to put a link to their website or perhaps an investor presentation, maybe a private placement memorandum or offering docs. I'll just make this the Polymath website. And then we can also limit the number of investors who can hold this token. So we can toggle this on. And this is very important, especially when it comes to compliance for private companies. And so let's say I only want 1,999 people as a maximum to be able to hold my security token. Well, this is where we can configure that. And if you're unsure of any of these fields, so maybe the token name, whether we want the security token to be divisible or indivisible, if we want additional information, or if we want to limit the number of token holders, all of this information can be changed after we've configured the security token. So 
don't worry. If you configure the security token and you want to change the maximum number of investors, we can do that later. If we want to change this link, we can do that later. All of this information is able to be updated at any point in time. And I'm ready to configure my security token, so I'll click here. You'll see that configuring a security token comes at a cost of 10,000 poly. So I'm good with that. I'll click confirm. And just three transactions here to confirm with MetaMask. And just fast forwarding through those transactions that I was confirming, we now have our config token. So we can see here the token now exists. We've got it configure inc. And here's the token address where it exists on Ethereum. So we can actually click this link right here and we can see it on Etherscan. We can look through the contract. We can scroll through it all there if anyone's interested and we'll head back to the Polymath Token Studio. So at this point, we have our token configured. We've reserved the token symbol config and now we have it all set up. And that's the end of this tutorial where you learned how to configure a security token using the Polymath Token Studio. I hope you saw how easy it was to do that. And if you're interested in learning more perhaps about how to interact with service providers in the service provider marketplace, or how to schedule an STO, how to update the whitelist, how to pay dividends, we have other tutorials that can show you how to do that. Thank you.